Welcome back to Maths with Mr. Duffield. Got another um, few questions here based on the transforming trig graph stuff that I explained in the last video. Should be pretty straightforward to identify the amplitude, in other words, the height of each graph, and the period, i.e. how many degrees does one kind of pattern uh, happen between? What's the length of uh, the repetition of one pattern? So we, we as, as, as you guys have already read up, amplitude is the height between the x-axis and, and the maximum height of the graph. So in this case, it's two. The period is, what's one repetition of the pattern between? Well, this one's uh, 360, okay? The one below, sine of six theta, well, holy, holy moly. Um, amplitude goes up to one still. Um, period. Well, there are two ways we can look at this. We can either count one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there are six repetitions between zero and 360. So the period is 360 divided by six, which is uh, 60. Or, alternatively, we can immediately just grab the... Um, the number in front of that theta and divide 360 by that number to come up with that period. I hope that that makes sense. Um, if I move on to the next one, half cos 4 theta, amplitude is halved because the entire thing is times by half, and then 4 theta. Again, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4 repetitions of the pattern between 0 and 360, or you can just take that number from 4, 360 divided by 4, is the, is the answer. That's 90. Okay. Should be able to apply that straightforwardly enough to um, the curves that are here. A for amplitude, P for period. Um, with cos, this one has just got a cos itself, which is just an amplitude of 1, and the height 360 divided by 5. 72. Um, I would carry on, but then you'd have no work to do yourself. You should be able to work out all the rest of these questions on this resource by um, following the stages that I've explained to you here. And actually, when it comes to drawing, well, if I'm drawing a standard sine graph, I know that that's the shape. I know it's between 0 and 360. And if it's been times by 3, well, the, the heights and the minimum is going to be uh, subjected to that factor. I hope that that makes sense. Have a wonderful day, and for goodness sake, don't forget to use Teams. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon.